Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Swartikis and in today's video we're gonna do a tier list on the classes but there's gonna be a twist. We're gonna rate these classes based on how they perform in duels or you know PvP and uh yeah so you know for example S being the most OP and D being the fucking the worst. So uh let's get it dude okay so first class we have is a uh, warrior this class is a d because the way the class is right now is it's very it sucks the passive doesn't help you at all it only helps allies and you have to build 100 uh furry furry is that what it's called uh you know you have to build 100 of your mana to do one special skill but the thing is, the skill doesn't even do that much damage, or it doesn't do anything good. Um, the second skill, the slash, you have to aim it, or if, it, if you don't aim it right, it's going to miss. And most people love to kite, jump, or just run. So, you know, it's going to be very hard to do that. And uh, the crushing blow does less damage than it used to do back then, which is very sad. And the fourth skill the, 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 the tornado it takes too long dude the animation is too long which gives enough time for the opponent to do either two skills or a whole combo and this class sucks like i believe any class can beat this class really um i know it sucks old warrior the old class of this was very op but just now it just it's just terrible next class is mage mage is the a tier it has, a, it has a stun, a slow, and it has a um, a burn. And you could easily, easily start off the duel with a slow. Where you could just, you know, when duel starts, you could do two of your stacks. And when the duel actually starts, you could start off slow. And then you're, you're, it's pretty much GG. You could kite them out throughout the whole duel. Mage is one of the best uh, class. Thing is, uh, this new mage, it's not OP. If it was old mage, then I would put it at an S tier, but you know, it got some tweaks, so it's gonna be an A tier. Uh Rogue. Rogue is a C tier. It's way better than Warrior. It's not better than the other classes though. That's that's the reason why. The only good thing that's rocking with Rogue is the poison stacks. And I mean that's about it. I mean, yeah, I mean, if this class was the old one, then it would probably be like a mm, A tier, but it's it's not good the class is not good so uh yeah next class is guardian guardian recently got a update to its class and it's very very op so i'm going to put this class at the s tier it's very tanky um it can it can get 15 stacks the heal does more and the flame does more it's pretty much it's it's pretty much an op class now uh downside is you have to pay twenty dollars to you have to pay twenty dollars to play this class. Eh, you know, that's, that's part of a perk, I guess. Uh, next class is pirate. Pirate is a B tier because it's all RNG based class. This class is an RNG based class. There's a 50 50 that you could either get super lucky or you get really bad luck. So I'm going to put it at B tier because it's average. You know, it's RNG. You could easily get 100. You could easily get like. Like four flasks, or you get nothing. So B is the right answer for this class. Uh, Necromaster. This class is going to be a A tier. It's going to be higher than Mage because um, it's one. It's probably the best long range classes in the game right now. It has a skeleton does the that does damage, and it's basically two people doing damage at the same person, which is you know very OP, and it has a like a, a reduced armor skill and once you use that it's pretty they could my god like all the fucking all the attacks would do more which is very very good actually i don't know if you can hear that but that's the fucking truck so don't mind the truck in the background next thing next class is uh dragon slayer dragon slayer if we're talking about 30 determination dragon slayer it'll probably be a tier but if we're talking about uh Zero determination is gonna be a B tier, but it's gonna be higher than the pirate though. It's gonna be very it's gonna be like a B plus. Because the reason why is that Dragon Slayer 
to get to your 15 determination you need to do at least two skills maybe all the attacks if you don't do aa cancels and that takes a while your regular skills doesn't do that much like it doesn't do that much your special skills are the ones you're going to aim for all the time and it just you know takes a while you know some classes do some classes can easily be dragon slayer while some some other classes can't but um it's just the way the player plays that class in this case uh i'm going to put it at, at b plus okay next class is ninja i mean do i really guys speak on this class really like you guys you guys already know where this class is going to be at it's going to be a fucking s tier easily s tier um the class is just this, this class was meant for pvp it wasn't meant for nothing else just pvp uh berserker berserker is the b um it does a lot of damage especially when you get to like 50 percent but if if one class just kites it out it's pretty much gg for the berserker unless you know he dodges and the berserker gets the upper hand but usually just kite the berserker and it's pretty much gg uh mogul master is c c tier it's way better it's way better than uh warrior uh it could do a lot too it has a it has an increased critical skill I think and it has like a like a tanky skill um you know it's, it's decent it's not bad is it is it for pvp though no it's like a, it's like a troll pick really but yeah healer healer is the a tier as of right now because uh if you get like a full stack of people you can easily get to 45 uh stacks and you can easily do half the player's hp that's how busted it is um usually we don't have a full stack i mean it still does a lot it still it still does a lot it, it, it does a lot still um but usually you kite them out and you do this healers is pretty busted it's not op but it's busted uh ranger ranger is a uh i mean depends right it just all depends on the player how the, the class plays it all depends on how the player plays that class but if i'm going to base on the, based on how they perform in pvp i'm going to put it at c plus because you can easily easily kite with this class and you can easily put some distance between you and the player especially that skill that that, that has the the fucking uh what's it called the wood like the that in the lock in place which is very good and then you could easily do your uh, your second skill and then your first skill and then you see us it's good but it doesn't like if that player like comes to you like if that player comes next to you it's pretty much gg for you but i mean that's it that's it c c plus paladin is an a plus because uh you know the shield is an a minus i'm putting an a minus because of the shield okay the shield, when you have the shield on, it's very OP, but once that shield comes off, it's pretty much GG for you as a paladin, unless you kite. But I mean, most paladins don't do that. So I'm going to put it at A minus. It has a good heal, it has a good, you know, second skill, but you know, most classes can beat it. Yeah. I mean, guys, this is my opinion on ba basically on how the class performs in PvP, just not the way people play it, just the way the class performs in PvP not the way the player plays the class okay all these classes you could easily you know like for example berserker could easily be a mage or or uh pirate can be a healer it, it just it's just the way the class performs that's all um you guys could disagree with this i'm okay with it it's just my opinion and if you guys did like this video please give a like and sub do this peace out dab